We are finding that there's more and more evidence that sleep has a lot to do with healing after brain injury. And we are looking at trying to figure out what the best way to diagnose a certain type of sleep disorder is for patients that have had acute traumatic brain injury. The gold standard for diagnosing obstructive sleep apnea is to have a night in a sleep laboratory. This is pretty difficult to do with a patient that has an acute brain injury who might be confused, who might have some paralysis. And what we are going to see is whether a level three polysomnogram and a wristband that measures how much someone moves during the night, whether combining that is as good or not inferior to the gold standard. This is a research actigraph. You'll notice it looks a lot like what your friends are wearing. We actually take measurements every 15 seconds as opposed to the ones that you can buy commercially which are not nearly as sensitive. So we're able to measure when somebody's moving, not moving, when the lights are on and off. We're gonna actually have patients wear this for anywhere from three to seven days. That would allow us to really be able to study people on the acute rehab unit where the nurses and therapists are accustomed to dealing with patients that might have some confusion. So it would really expand our ability to diagnose this early and then hopefully treat it early and improve outcomes potentially decrease the length of stay in hospitals and improve their long-term functioning for the rest of their lives.